half it Williams the layoff back to Brown and then worked wide to the left hand side and West Ham starting to find the rhythm good looking little through ball this is the first time West Ham could enter the penalty area with attacking menace they will get another chance to move it into the penalty area again work it wide to Henry nice flick from Diane Garner and Samuelson now can possibly get the better of the Tigers defence twisting and turning and getting the first shot away for West Ham and Rory Watson as the ball would have popped up through the black and amber traffic in front of him he'll have been able to easily see that one coming and he didn't have to dive too far now with Tymon played down the line very neatly very nice footwork as well from Greg Ollie into the centre and the Tigers get their first shot away but it is off target and Ben Hinchcliffe was the man producing the shot just outside the six yard box so another set piece opportunity for West Ham Brown doesn't beat the first man and cleared away by Greg Ollie who's barking at his players to come and join him in squeezing West Ham United got the opportunity to play the ball into the area again big save from Watson danger not over cross fired in again by Diane Garner and it could drop kindly here for Parfait Williams and a strong save from Watson and he was almost called upon again but the ball going wide of the target well out of danger by the Tigers and a free kick again similar circumstances to the way Doniel Henry was booked bringing down the last man and for the fourth time tonight Andrew Miller produces the yellow card two and a half minutes to go before half time we have a change in scoreline here the Tigers with the free kick played in flicked on and then Spiegel we can comfortably save Brian Lenehan caught out and West Ham strike the post the ball will now be met by Mokasi who with great pace brings the ball into the penalty area and quite unbelievably West Ham do not take full advantage of the first opportunity of the second half here is Samuelson and he has got pace to motor forward here and he's charging at the Tigers defensive line and then a shot comes in which will be golloped up by Rory Watson the throw in taken Will Annan very good looking ball in and the header was off target this time for Hull City Lewis Page is the only man for West Ham United's defence who isn't on a booking so far the Tigers can get in their faces and force them into more fouls West Ham could be playing with less than 11 men Clark will swerve the ball in and then the volley played in just couldn't keep full control of the ball Clark and Greg Olley Tigers can they get a shot away with this attack worked wide to Josh Tymon right out by the touchline so work to do here for the number three it's produced a good looking ball in Ben Hinchcliffe was so close to giving the Tigers a 1-0 advantage West Ham United in the first leg scored in the 90th minute through Parfait Williams who couldn't have the same sort of influence on the game this time here's Tyler Hamilton moving forward is this the chance then for Hull he played into the centre from the cross and it was a fingertip save by Raphael Spiegel just making sure bodies charging forward now Watson in a hurry to clear sent forward looking for Johan Tehorst McCarthy gathered by Batty 
Played left, can Hull strike here in the dying seconds. Big save from Spiegel. So Horst has it. Will Annen! Oh, how about that for a finish? And just look what it means to the side. They celebrate like they've just won, but they know that it will be extra time. But that is a stunning finish. It took off from his right foot like a rocket into the left-hand corner. And Will Annan, who has played so superbly in this fixture, has just given his side the most precious of lifelines. He has put his side in front in second half stoppage time. Hull lead by one goal to nil. Henry heads it up to Rice. Not a good connection from him. So his number four counterpart Clark will take the ball in his stride and shoots from range, but just over the top of the crossbar from him. Last few seconds of the half, and can the Tigers maybe get one last opportunity? Tymon into the penalty area it goes. Bowen. And he will shoot, but it's easy for Raphael Spiegel. Just had to get his body behind it to stop it squirming underneath him. Here's Samuelson. A little fake shot, cutting inside, and he's managed to work himself into a good position. And then a venomous strike coming back in from Marcus Brown, but Rory Watson making sure he wasn't going to be beaten on this occasion. Samuelson still moving himself forward. This is Hendry. And a big save again from Rory Watson. And that's it, full time. The 30 minutes couldn't separate these two. So we're going to have penalties for the second consecutive cup game for the Tigers. They have won after 120 minutes by a goal to nil, but it's 1-1 on aggregate, which means it's going to be a battle from 12 yards. This is the first penalty then. It's Brown versus Watson. And Marcus Brown converts. The first man for the Tigers. Is he going to keep Hull City level? Only just. Raphael Spiegel getting fingertips to it. But it wasn't sufficient enough to stop the ball nestling in the back of the net. It's 1-1. West Ham United's captain's up next. Reese Oxford. He's played at the Emirates Stadium for the first team and played exceptionally well. But as he got the bottle to put that ball past Rory Watson and make it 2-1 for his side. Reese Oxford scores bottom right-hand corner. It's now time for Daniel Batty to step up. Can he make it 2-2? He can't, it's saved. Went for the same corner as Reese Oxford. And he went the same way as Gerard Bowen went for the first penalty. But the goalkeeper, Raphael Spiegel, has managed to deny Hull's substitute Batty. So it's West Ham 2, Hull City 1 after two penalties. And the man who is probably the most expensive player to play in this competition, Sam Byram. Will slam the ball home and give West Ham a very good advantage indeed. It's now 3-1, straight down the middle, no-nonsense stuff from him. Big run up this for Brian Lenehan. And he coolly converts. Spiegel going the opposite direction this time. Lennon sticking to the right-hand side just like everybody else has. Substitute Stephen Hendry up next. Who made things difficult for Hull City's defence when he entered the fray. Picked out a few good crosses. But has he got the nerve to convert his penalty? Watson gets a hand to it, but it's in the back of the net. Tyler Hamilton needs to convert his penalty. Otherwise, West Ham United will be taking the trophy back to East London. 
Can he do it? Can he keep Hull in this contest? He can. 4-3. But Martin Samuelson, who had a great opportunity in the first half to score, is going up next. Penalty taker number five. Can he make it five out of five? And crown West Ham United champions of this year's Premier League Cup. Rory Watson very nearly kept the last penalty out. Is he going to this time? It's Samuelson and he will win it for West Ham United. Cooley converted and for the Tigers who have tried so hard in this fixture, they have gone unrewarded for their efforts. West Ham United are the champions of this season's Premier League Cup. Five out of five penalties. Tony Pennock and his coaching staff will know they have left everything on that pitch this evening. They have performed exceptionally well, but they have gone unrewarded. But you've just got to know that against a side like West Ham United, it's never going to be easy.